Hello everyone, today we're going to have the AA similarity theorem. Other textbooks are using AAA, they're just pretty much the same thing. So AA or AAA similarity theorem states that if all the three angles of a triangle are congruent, then the two triangles are similar. So this is the symbol for similar. So it's going to be this symbol right here. This is in math, this is read as similar. Okay, so let's take this example right here. So again, our task is to determine if all of the angles are the same. So if all of the three angles, or if we can spot two angles that are congruent, then they are similar. We already know that 102 and 102 are congruent. So we need to, we need to have just one angle, or we can find all the three angles and then um, go from there, whether it's similar or not. So um, in order that we can find this missing angle right here, we are going to use the angle sum theorem. So there is another video on angle sum theorem. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So it's called the angle sum theorem. So how, how do we solve for the missing angle for this triangle? So I'm, I'm just going to solve for the uh, triangle. Let's say triangle E, F, G. So we are going to add all of these equals 180. That's the angle sum theorem. So that would be 102 plus 30 plus angle G is equal to 180. And so 102 plus 100 and, I mean 102 plus 30 is 132. So whether it's 132 plus angle G is equal to 180. We subtract both sides by 132. So minus 132 minus 132 right here. So we are left with angle G is equal to 48. So this angle right here is 48. Do we have two angles that are the same now? So we have 102 and 48. So therefore, we can go ahead and say that these two triangles are similar. Now, if you would want to know what the measure of the other triangle, I mean, the other angle for this triangle is, we can uh, we can do that, and I'll show the work on this um, uh, for the measure for this angle over here. So this will be for triangle LMN. So again, that would be 102 plus 48 plus angle M equals 180. And so this is 150 plus angle M equals 180. So subtract 150 from both sides, minus 150. So then we are left with measure of angle M is equal to 30. So this side right here is 30. So if you can spot two angles, that's why otherwise you can have this option. It's either AA, angle, angle, or AAA, angle, angle, angle. So in here, we have proven that AA would work. If AA would work, AAA would work. So both, all of the angles are the same. So then from here, we can go ahead and match up the side. So E matches up with L. Both of them are 102. And then uh, G matches up with M. No, G matches up with N. So this is LN. So because both of them are 48, and then F and M are, so hold on. So E matches with, so E matches with L, F matches with M. So this is supposed to be M, and then G matches with N. So be sure that we don't switch them around. So E and L, 102, F and M are 30, G and N are 48. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over this. So let's find the measures for the missing um, angle here. So let's start with um, triangle. Again, we use the angle sum theorem. This is for triangle LMK. So we have 63, 52, 55, and 69. So uh, to set up, to solve for angle M, that would be 63 plus 52 plus angle M is equal to 180. So 63 plus 52 is 115 
plus angle M equals 180. So from here, we subtract 115 minus 115, so we can cross the 115 out. We're left with angle M is equal to 65. So this angle right here is 65. Can we spot um, angles that are congruent? So far, we don't have anything, but let's try to see what angle E is. So this is the work for triangle E, C, D. So then we go ahead and add 55 plus 69 plus angle E is equal to 180. Okay, and then we add these two together. 55 plus 69 is 124 plus angle E equals 180. So we subtract 124 from both sides. So minus 124 minus 124. So we can cross this out. Our angle E, so that's angle E right here, is equal to 56. So this is 56 right here. So from here, we do not have any angles that are congruent. Did you get 65 and 56 for the work on this problem here? Good. Now, what can we conclude over here? Are they similar or not similar? Since we don't see any angles that are congruent, we go ahead and say this is not similar. If it is not similar, you don't need to write the similarity statement because it is not similar. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!